So this is the default Blender setup that you get when you take it out of the box in 2.90. In fact, I'll go under File and Defaults and Load User Settings just to double confirm. And so, you know, with the camera and the light, we're not going to need these. I generally add my own lights and add my own cameras, so we're going to remove that from the default scene. Also, we are going to go under our preferences, and just for today's demo, we will enable only hard ops. Um, and we'll double back for everything else. Um, but under themes, we do want to do a little bit of configuration. So I'm a big fan of adjusting my default load colors that come up. So for the active object, I'm going to go with something a little more uh, pastel, maybe something a little more edible and also work on the saturation, get something real light going. These are just my personal preferences for setting up the 3D view. And I can understand you uh, possibly wanting to skip past these parts. So we'll raise the vertex size, uh, maybe outline width. And under theme space, there's some additional options that I think are kind of cool. For example, you can now put a vignette on their background of Blender itself. And so, you know, the initial colors they give us are a little bit harsh. And I think it makes my screen flash a little bit but we'll just play with these and get something that's a little bit less, less hyper. But, you know, I found that last time I was configuring it that I had it a little bit heavy. And so maybe something just a little bit lighter, just a, a focus filling type of uh, intro. Also, I found out that under, let's see, and this is all thanks to Proxy, by the way, was showing me this last night I was like wow you should know my favorite things to see you can actually change the color of all the icons so I'm not going to do it but we could copy with control C and control V in all the fields and it would actually make every icon in this black and white which I called Bojangles mode but we're not going to do that because this will be our demo scene for today so you know with that we basically have everything configured we can go through and just make sure everything else is in order you know, I have a decent GPU, so sometimes I'll um, up these texture settings. Um, I already have my custom lights installed. Um, there's already a tutorial on that if you're interested on how I have looked at environments. We won't be turning on emulate three button mouse, but we do want to go under navigation, turn off auto perspective. I find it to be a little problematic in my life, so I just don't mess with it. Spacebar, we actually want spacebar to be search and not play. And so we're continuing on through this. You never want to turn off global undo. You'll regret it, believe me. It'll make it where you can adjust F9 panels, so you should never mess with it. But we could change our undo steps up to something like 128 just for today. And we'll turn on save prompts and save preview images. We don't want to mess with load UI, but when it comes to recent files, I do like to keep about 30 recent files on hand, just in my memory of what was the last 30 files I had. And we'll put autosave at one because Blender's autosave is actually pretty darn good and it does the job. And I love Blender's autosave. Just isn't the best when you have up um, a ton of, also, you know, I do see now we have options to hide system bookmarks and recent locations. That's actually kind of cool. I don't need it, but with that, we can save our preferences. So we'll save our preferences, which have overwritten my old preferences, so I'll need to restore them at the end. But now we have Blender set up to get started. So the final thing I do wanna show y'all is, you know, with my default scene, I always press Alt-V, and I'll set my viewport to EVHQ. And then with that, we can actually uh, go under default and save our default file. And so anytime we press Control-N, you're at least already inside of Blender set up with EVHQ already set up. And the difference is we jump to LQ, this is kind of what vanilla Blender gives us. And if we jump to HQ, this is actually just a little bit better and easier on the eyes. I find myself working on the PC for long periods of time, so I often find myself wanting to um, just soften the viewport uh, visibility of certain things to just make it a little more obvious what's going on. But with that aside, we can now begin.